Hey Hedgies, welcome back. My name's Jane Starshay. I write recipes for a living. I have a blog called hedgecombers.com. This is Myrtle, my cute little camper van, where we make you some rather tasty camping recipes. So I've already got today's recipe started. I hope you don't mind me getting started without you. This sausage inside a skillet is a killer. It's delicious. It's a really old recipe from my blog and I was scanning through it the other day and I thought, damn, I haven't made that in way too long. I know, I'll make it for you guys. So start off with six sausages. These are from Joe O'Keefe in Plint, our very friendly, very lovely butcher. Um, they're proper sausages, really good quality. We love his sausages, award winning. So just start by frying them off and getting some good color on them. And excuse me for shouting, but these sausages are quite noisy. I'm parked up on Hannah Fort in Lou, and I'm just gonna give you a little shot of the island. I've just realized I'm parked the wrong way around. I'm looking at the island. You guys, you're looking at the road. Sorry. Anyway, it's quite late. It is 4.03. The light is gonna be going soon, so I'm kind of feeling a little bit antsy that we get this recipe nailed and in the bag. But you can't rush a good thing, you see. You can't rush cooking sausages. Okay, when your sausages are nicely coloured, they don't have to be fully cooked through, so don't panic if you don't think they've been in long enough. But as long as you've got some nice colour on them, take them out, pop them to one side. Pop a little oil in. Oops. And then we're going to fry up shallots. Now, I'm using banana shallots which are these funny things but an onion will do absolutely fine it's just i had a bunch of these to use up so i think i use about six of those but a medium sized onion will be absolutely fine once you've got a little bit of color on your shallots or onion then pop your cooked potatoes in and these are new potatoes and turn the heat up a little bit at this point and we want to get some color on those potatoes too okay we're now going to pop our peppers in we've got one red and one yellow nicely chopped so while the veggies are going to finish off cooking, I'm just going to chop these sausages up into bite-sized pieces. Okay, at this point you want to open your can of cider. I've got a dry one, but a medium dry cider is fine too. And then pour the whole can. That's a nice sound, huh? Pour the whole can in. Do it in batches by all means. And make sure your heat's right up at this point. And you want that cider to boil, you want it to reduce down into a nice thick gravy. While it's bubbling, give it a good sprinkle of sea salt and some black pepper. The apple smell of that cider is just delicious. Next, add in a good heap double teaspoon of whole grain mustard. It's my favorite mustard. Now pop your sausages back in. And any juices in the bowl too all extra flavour. Bury those sausages down so if there's any pinkness left to them they'll finish cooking. Now finally I've got two teaspoons of corn flour here and the good thing about corn flour is if you pop cold water with it you'll be able to stir it into a nice smooth paste and whatever sauce you pour that into it's going to thicken and make a lovely gravy. So give that a good mix round and pour that in. And straight away that sauce is thickening up and just becoming delicious. So this is enough to feed four. If you've got kids, you might even get two adults and four kids out of this. Obviously, it all depends on appetites. Give it a little taste. Make sure the seasoning's right. Add some more salt, pepper, mustard, whatever you feel it needs. And there you go. Gas off. We're done. As always, I hope you've enjoyed this recipe and I also hope you give this one a go. This is real hearty grub. Originally, when I made this recipe, I made it over a campfire, which of course you can do, but this proves that you can also cook it in your camper van. So that's me over and out for another week. I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday where we'll have another camping recipe for you. Until then, happy camping.